Welcome back, yet again, to Sonic Heroes Action Replay. It's time to finish up Team Rose and Team Chaotix at the same time. At the same time? Well, in the same episode. Oh, okay. I was expecting a side-by-side. -side. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, look at Vector go, and also look at Amy Rose go. Yeah, everyone's like getting eye strain trying to look at both, and Esco's like, oh, it's, it's fine to me, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Oh, god. <laughs> eyes just go fisheye lens. <laughs> Charmy's is like, all I see is blue! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, that ain't good. Nope. Oh, oh. Alright, okay. saved it. Yep. Saved it. Still good. Still good. See, I know that this is a much shorter level than the others because it's a, it's a rose level, but I also don't want to miss any detonation switches either. Right. Because I might soft lock it again. What the heck? Uh... Really? Here? This is where they say no. Uh, uh, oh, okay. That's a huge invisible wall. Okay. Really? Sure. Whatever. Whoa, what a find, you archaeologist. How'd you get that? <laughs> well, you know, years of study and practice. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I love how Big leaves them behind every... Oh, he's just gone. <laughs> the... The constant struggle of Big trying to exist makes me laugh every time. I hear that he's gonna have a major part in this Sonic Frontiers game. No, like no joke? Like no joke, like fishing's gonna be a big part of it, and who fishes? Oh my god. Please. I think that's what we've all been dreading and waiting for. All ten and, out and wanting. Ten out of ten, baby. All three at once. Zero out of ten, five out of ten, ten out of ten. What do you get? Seven. That's pretty much what I think it's going to get. And I shouldn't be that pessimistic, but... It's not pessimistic, it's recognizing patterns. Yeah, but but I hate being the guy to point out, well, every other Sonic game has gotten a 7 or worse. Well, what do you give a Sonic game, huh? It depends on if it's fun. Like, it, it doesn't matter what the critics say, it's just a consensus. What's your number, huh? What do you give Sonic Ooh. Heroes? Sonic Heroes? I give it a six. Mm. Sevens are undeserved. The five was deserved for the PS2, so split the difference. You get a six. Yeah. That, that sounds about right in my mind. Uh, because I'm nicer, six and a half. And also, I'm not the one playing, so that, that's a big factor. Y yeah, I'm, it, that, that'll <laughs> go right down to a five and a half. <laughs> that's more a, uh, oh, by the way, I'm not finishing this. Sorry, it's just... Yeah. Oh, okay. Good, no soft lock. And that was done in about uh, three minutes. In, in a second. God, just imagine if, like, all of this commentary we're doing right now was also stuck in Chaos Control and it was all being done in, like, a second. So you just take all the commentary up to this point and you just mash it into a second. Well, I've been trying to make pocket dimensions, but they just don't work. Oh. Well, are you actually using your pockets? That's what you're doing wrong, man! Gotta use actual pockets! Of course. Of course. <laughs> you think a guy had never made a pocket dimension before? It's crazy. Uh, pardon? That's her arc? Yeah, that's her arc. We're going to, like... Big's trying to find Froggy. Uh huh. Cream's trying to find Chocolate Chow. I guess is a uh, cream or a uh, cheese. The Chow's brother, mother, friend, something, lover. I don't know. Uh huh. And Amy's just a huge simp. Amy's just trying to find Sonic. Wow. Because Amy's trying to get with Sonic, of course. But you know, Sonic being his aloof, I don't get whatever kind of self. He's more. He's more focused on saving the world from Eggman. And Amy's pissed about that because. Uh. Yeah. Sonic's trying to save the world instead of pegging me. I liked her arc better in Sonic Adventure 1, where, yeah, I was trying to get Sonic, but there's a robot chasing me, too. That's kind of fucked. Right, she was actually in peril. Oh, also, help this birdie. Okay, that's that's a decent story. Because the birdie actually had, you know, other arcs, you know, especially, plot relevance, especially yeah. in Gamma's story. Yeah. You know? So that makes sense. Yes. But... You know, this is just. I want. I'm horny for Sonic. I, Whoa, want, let's I, want, go. The, I want the hot hedgehog, please. 
And then Shadow comes in. You rang. <laughs> <laughs> like, just came out of the shower. Only has a towel on. Slick back quills. Rouge is like, where'd you find a shower? <laughs> Wait, don't clones melt in the water? Oh, no. Well, that's the easiest way to figure out which one is the genuine article. Genuine article of clothing. Well, aren't you a robot, Shadow? <laughs> oh, no. My arms are rusting. <laughs> that just makes him more tan! <laughs> Shadow! My favorite Sonic character! Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, this is gross. I so you, you can still get stun locked. Oh, sure. That's hilarious. I mean, I, I have the rising jump so I can at least, you know, raise myself out of the stun lock death, right. but I can't get out of it. You're still going backwards. It's like being stuck in a really big beanbag chair. It's just like, I, I can't get out, but at least, you know, I'm not, I'm in a safe place. I am still stunned. I am still locked, but I am not out. You, however, doctor, are out. Have you ever been in one of those beanbag chairs made for four people, and you just get lost in it? Four people? More like just one. Yeah, there's there are beanbag chairs that's a four-seater. No, no, it's a one-seater. Get out of my get out of my fucking beanbag chair. Well, I mean, yeah, you're basically just face planting onto it and hoping for the best, hoping you can still breathe afterwards. I'm gonna mark it. Yes. <laughs> Raise my leg. And... For the longest time, I wanted them to make a giant beanbag chair that was a Snorlax, and then they answered the call. So I don't go to people's houses, I spray everything. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Alright, well, uh, Froggy and Chocolate Chow are here. I guess that's okay. Huh. Glad for you, cheese. Wait, where's my Sonic blow-up doll? Oh, that means I left it at home! Well, we did it all! We Alright, we saved the day! Oh, hey, look at that, there's Mr. Sonic! How convenient. How convenient. This ties into what happened at the end of Sonic's story. <laughs> Don't be laughing, Big. Froggy's about to jump. It's funny when Amy's doing it to Sonic, but it wouldn't be as funny if it was Sonic doing it to Amy. That's double standards. Oh, Big. Why you gotta point these things out? Big, no. Oh dear, that is double standards. The fact that Amy's entire character is relegated to just going after Sonic really speaks ill of the feminist tendencies that this series should be known for. Oh, political big. No. <laughs> no, I woke big. Do oh, even worse! Even worse? What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know if I want Big to have any other archetype besides what he has now. It's a little messed up that we only have one black character, and we had to kill him off in his first game. And then we give him his own game, and of course we have to give him a gun. God, now I'm just imagining the writer's room. Do we really want to put this in a kid's game? I will ruin everything if you give me enough time to think about yeah, it. Yeah, I know. So, we need to hurry this episode up. Oh my god, you only- you finished that in eight minutes, that's great. Did you hear about how Sonic Heroes is actually Zionistic propaganda? <laughs> and, no, tell me, please! And also, Metal Gear's not political, bite me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, this was- Definitely the fastest that you've beaten Sonic Heroes because all the levels are cut in half and I'm happy about that. Yeah. There was really nothing that... Like, did we need this one? See, these, these, these stories don't add anything. Yeah, this... you, have, you have Sonic Adventure 2, you had Hero Side where you fight, you go with these three guys and do their, their own original story. You had Team Dark, these three heroes do their own original story. And, own, own, or, and original stages too. Yeah. It's all original. Sonic Adventure 1, yeah, you all have the same levels, but they all work differently. Sonic is, you know, your basic run through the level. Tails, it was a race with Sonic. Knuckles, it was find the Chaos Emeralds. Amy, it was, you know, just a generic platformer, I suppose, with some added extra benefits. Big, it was fishing, and Gamma, it was a shooter. It was all six different ways to play. This is the same thing! Four times! Why does everyone wear... I never wear got over it after all these years. Why does everyone wear gloves? I'm just now realizing that everyone either has extremely burned hands or it's just a fashion choice. Did you know that white gloves is actually a relic left over from minstrel shows? I've heard that before, yes. Oh, Jesus That's why Mickey Mouse Christ. has the white gloves. Oh, God damn Everything it. you love is full of hate. Earth was a mistake. 
Yo, Japanese anime is wonderful, but the thing is that they really abuse and overwork their animators and don't even pay them. You know, I'm, I'm starting to like Woke Big a bit more. <laughs> Just pointing out bullshit. It's almost to the point of parody. Trans rights are human rights. Like, eventually it'll get to the point where he... Like, oh boy, I love this ice cream. Did you know that ice cream used to have anthrax in it? It's like, big, shut the fuck up. I want to enjoy this. Oh, try another story, please. I think I will. Get, I think get, I will get, try the last story there is to try. Get me out of here. Listen up, sheeple. No, stop. <laughs> Not like this. Listen to my thesis about- Okay, thank you, Big, but we Thanks, gotta go Big. now. We're okay, we're good, thank right you. Alright, alright, thank you, thank you. Moving on to Team Chaotix now. Here we go. Off we go. What on earth could their last mission be? Like, well, actually, find this, the evil? This is gonna be a big revelation. We gotta find the keys to the cell where the client is locked up! Their mysterious client at the beginning of the game! The guy's been talking in the walkie-talkie the whole time! Uh-huh. We're gonna find out who he is today! Cool. I hope it's a big disappointment. Because, you know, keeping with the formula. <laughs> what on earth is happening? So I'm trying to be as thorough as I can. Just to make sure you don't miss anything. I, I'm also opening up a tab on the site over here. It's like, okay, what? Uh, <laughs> Final Fortress uh, Chaotix keys. keys. Yeah. Because I don't know if this is a- there's only five in the whole stinking level. There's ten. Okay, good. But I don't know that yet, so I'm trying to be as thorough as I can, and I'm also trying to pad up time a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, this one isn't too bad. Well, it actually- see, see, I like it when- see, I, I, I enjoy the chaotic stages, and by extension the Shadow of the Hedgehog stages, where I have to find a certain number of something, but not all of them. I can feel that. If, like, they're having me find five keys, that's fine. If I find all ten keys, I'm having a conniption. <laughs> well, it also looks like they're in very obvious, predetermined places, while also being very easy to see. So, that's good. I didn't know Vector was such a bouncy croc. Oh my god, look at him. So I came to a realization about Chaotix. Uh-huh. GDQ is on right now, or that's GDQ. Uh -huh. And I saw a speed run of Knuckles Chaotix. Grab the key, grab the key, grab the key. That's not what the key. That's not the key. What? That's a different key. That's that's the special stage key. Not the prison key. But they look the same. They're not the same. They do look They're the same. They're not the same. Then what am I missing? One's golden, one is like silver and eggman shaped. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, anyway, continue. <laughs> Sorry, I'm blind. So, uh... Knuckles Chaotix is for the 32X. Yeah. That's a 32-bit <coughs> yeah. system for the Sega Genesis. If you really squint. The thing is that it's still kind of basically using Genesis graphics. Because mm -hmm. it's still running on a Genesis. Which is still 16-bit. It's still 16-bit. So to make up for it, they do two things. One, extra animation frames, which, yeah, makes it look alright, I guess. Oh god, I love the bounce. And two, they just vomit graphics everywhere. Like particle effects and stuff like that? Oh no, 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 not like that. This is this is before particle effects. It's just a lot of color, huh? You look at like the stage like screen on Knuckles Chaotix. It is just a mess of just graphics and assets thrown everywhere, huh. and it's really busy and it kind of hurts the eyes. I'll probably have to look that up. I, I've missed quite a few runs. You ever played Wrist Star? No, but now I know what you're talking about. Wrist Star is the exact same way. I mean, I, I mean, I'm playing Wrist Star. I think it's all right. The gameplay is kind of mediocre, but th it's just so much graphics. It's so graphic intensive. I can't focus on anything. Can I tell you one game that I have that's like that for me, where I actually can't play it because it hurts my eyes, and I'm very sad about this. Uh, Skullgirls. Yeah, that actually hurts my eyes to play. I, I had a bad time with Skullgirls. And it's sad because. It's fun. I just can't play it for long. I got. I was doing great in Skull. Oh man! Damn it! Uh, no, I was doing great in Skullgirls until I got to the last boss, and the last boss had one sliver of health left. And I know I had enough enough times to kill it, and it just said, "Yeah, you're done," and it nope. killed me. And uh, you know what? I did not play Skullgirls after that. And after learning what kind of uh, person the main guy of the team was, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I don't play Skullgirls. See, that kind of punishing difficulty is, like, old-school, dead-or-alive, or current Street Fighter. Just 
aggravating to the nth degree. It's not as refined as Street Fighter, though. Well, well refined as they're alive. But it's still fucking aggravating when it happens. Yeah. See, I avoid Dead or Alive because of the fucking DLC. And I've had enough rage fits with Dead or Alive 4 to I hate not, go, not go down that road again. Because it's so much fun. It is a great fighting game. It's just fucking disgusting. <laughs> $250 for costumes! And that's Season Pass 1! See, I'm okay with, uh, you know... Ew. I'm okay with games that have a lot of DLC. Ew. I'm okay with that. I really am. Like, if you want to buy Uni uh, Europa Universalis 4, I think you got, like, a couple hundred bucks of DLC to go through, because they've been supporting it for so long for so many years. It's, like, yeah. almost it's like almost ten years old at this point. You know, uh, Civilization VI, one of my favorite games, is like that. I, I paid a lot to have the Civ VI setup that I have now. Oh, yeah. I had to buy Violet another Switch... I had to buy a second copy of the game, and I had to buy two separate expansion packs for that, and that came to about like 300 bucks, not, not including the Switch, of course. But is it worth it? Yeah! Do you want me to make you feel really gross about Dead or Alive 6? Yeah, I know Dead or Alive 6 is just Christ awful for that, because they don't have, you know, good content, it's, it's just costumes. Oh which... no, it's not just that. Oh, what else? Oh, don't tell me. So, the game is technically free. Core fighters, yes. You have to buy the other DLC. You have to buy the other characters if you don't just own the box copy. Five dollars, I think, per character. It's not too bad. Of stapled characters. A little weird, but not too bad. Street Fighter Five kind of did the same thing. I believe you start the roster with eight characters. Street Fighter Five was kind of the same thing, but they have a Champion Edition upgrade, so you can just get that for a good price, and you got everything up to Season 5, and that's only five characters, and if you play the game enough, you can actually unlock the characters with in-game money. And the shittiest part, and I'll never forget this, is when I put it in my Xbox, and it had to individually download every single character's unlock key in order to fucking play the fighting game. The unlock keys were not in the game disc. Or sorry, that was the only thing on the game disc. See, that's why I'm gonna go with uh, Street Fighter as my uh, drug of choice for fighting games. I, I hate it because I love Dead or Alive. Damn it! This is playing older game. <laughs> yeah, I, I should. Dead or Alive Four was great. Yeah, I love Four. Four was great. It fucking pissed me off though. <laughs> I tried to play Five a bit, and it was you know okay. And then I saw what they were trying to do with Six. I'm like, haha! No. God, I love Dead or Alive Six. But I hate the practices. Does that make me a bad person or a good person? Like, what, what, what is my what is my it, morality scale? I think it, make, I think it me. makes you a person. So back to the game real quick. I tried to go invisible oh. as Espio, thinking, "Ha ha! Maybe if I'm invisible as Espio, he can't find me and he can't lunge at me." Let's try that. What happened? That was an instant death. What happened? I got caught. If all three characters are caught. Well, so much, so much for that, by the way. Yeah, see these things? They uh, they capture your characters. Oh, if all ew. three of you are caught, game over. Fucking and ew. kind of funny that they only appear here for Team Chaotix's world. Yeah. Oh, they, weren't, they weren't there for the other three, but they're here for Team Chaotix. What a crock of shoot. What an actual vector crock of shoot. <laughs> Sorry, E-rated game. Careful what you say. Or is this E10? Is this the advent of E10? Uh, the first E10 game... Well, the first time I saw the E10 rating was for Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog, so... A game I would not think an E10 rating would appear in. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. P please. I'm, I'm just brute forcing my way yeah, through. Yeah, exactly. Done with you! Done with done. Sonic Heroes! Done, done, done! Done UDJ is one of my favorite UDJ archetypes. <laughs> <laughs> because I can see it on screen. <laughs> Oh, I got a lot of archetypes. I got salty UDJ. I got intellectual UDJ. I got uh, trivial UDJ. I got yeah, scientific UDJ. Yeah, I like scientific UDJ. Collect them all today. What kind of fuel do you think that Eggman's uh, running here? Like in a scientific sense? Do you think he has his own egg fuel, or do you think he's like you know got his own oil deposit, or do you think he's like invented some sort of like new fuel? Well, I'm just thinking if he if Eggman actually used eggs ah. as his fuel source, I'm thinking ostrich eggs. It can does power not that matter thing. where you are, what you're yep, doing, he, he, he will come and you. find you. It is not a matter of you know if you move out of the way fast enough, he'll 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 like he'll he'll miss you. No, he will walk onto you and he will hit you. Eat shit. That was Ooh. weird. Yeah, that was weird. I thought it locked up for a second. 
I thought it locked I, 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 I don't think I don't think it expected to do what it did Here, there. Jay, it's breaking. <laughs> Help! Help! Break harder! <laughs> Maybe it'll make the fight go faster. Twist the ankle harder! <laughs> it's just the equivalent of giving Sonic Heroes an Indian burn or something like that. <laughs> just, just make it hurt. <laughs> ah, oh. ah. Maybe crack the kneecaps a couple times. <laughs> Playing slap hands, all I do is just. Stop! <laughs> Break out the playing cards. We're playing ERS. Ah! I've got like a million rings on. Oh, please. Oh, please. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. This is like about 20 years of pent up anger. And it, it showed up in a uh, in two really decent fights. All right. <laughs> exactly. I was waiting for you to like stamp it out and st like, oh, gross. Spit on this game. Uh, so now for the disappointment, who is our client? Turns out it was Metal Sonic! Right, Yay! Well See the letter? It can't be Knuckles, because he's part of Team Sonic. Let's make sure you break into the Egg Imperium and steal all of them. <laughs> well, here's a big revelation. Here we go. Oh my god, it was Eggman Oh, the whole he was time. Well, no. he was still Okay, he was a fake, so it explains why he's, like, bleeding mercury. It's okay. a little weird. But now we can use those five keys to open up the cell and look who our client is! The real Eggman. The real Eggman. Whoa. It's all part of me. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I mean, oh. if, you, if you have an IQ in the double digits, you would have figured that out a long time ago. <laughs> Hell, even the single digits. <laughs> like, if you're an earthworm looking at Sonic Heroes, it's just like, yeah, okay. Be rewarded handsomely for helping me. As soon as I conquer the world, I will pay you. Yep, that ain't gonna fly. We always get paid. Oh my god, they're gonna beat him up. They're gonna beat the crap out of him. Oh my god, Eggman. They're gonna beat the crap out of him. Uh, guys, we can talk about this. Oh, when Charmy starts throwing so hands. Oh, they they oh, oh, oh my yeah. god. Wow, yeah. So, uh, uh, goodbye, Doctor. No! no! Wow, did we just get a bad ending in Shadow the Hedgehog? That's why it took so long to get a bonus out of Shadow of the Hedgehog. Of course, yes. We had to get this ending first. Ah, oh, I totally understand now. So, uh, should I point out plot holes, or does everything make sense? Uh, well, uh, we have a limited time, so, uh, don't go too far. Okay, well, uh... I, there's only so many plot holes we can, uh, we can cover up. Here. How did the good doctor send that walkie-talkie? In the mail, maybe? Okay, so how did the good doctor know what to do to get past all of the different stages? Well, I'm trying to figure out what the point of it was. It's, it's like, you know, one of his, uh, one of his missions was... You need to destroy everything in Eggman space. Do this and I will pay you. Okay, sir. Well, I guess if it's a doppelganger, it's okay to destroy all of Eggman space, but... I mean, it'd be one... Still. I mean, it'd be one thing, you know, if it was like, you know, it's like... Here's your next mission. Destroy the blue hedgehog. Destroy the blue hedgehog? Hey, we're not hitmen here. Yeah, we don't do wet work. That's my job. And yet they still kill the fuck out of Eggman in the end. <laughs> they just beat the crap out of him. They don't all kill right, him. All right, all right. Took him to the dark alleys of Mobius and just took him out. You know, I had a revelation earlier today. Uh-huh. You know how we have all the loop-de-loops on Mobius? Sure. It's a Mobius strip. Haha. <laughs> Somebody's probably already come up with that revelation, and I'm just behind on the Sonic Times. I think the Sonic Cycle is a Mobius strip. It never ends. Never ends. Look at it go. Yeah. It Mobius just, strip. It just keeps going. Hold on, let me use uh, Stark thought processes. Give me a Mobius strip inverted, which is still a Mobius strip. Wow, time travel. Got it. <laughs> the Avengers are saved. Good job, Sonic <laughs> Heroes. Have I ever told you about the flea and the acrobat? Uh, no. Well, this is, this is, uh, Timmy the Flea, a new character in the Sonic game. Oh, no. And this is Acro the Acrobat. No, oh, Together, they're gonna help you go through dimensions. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad we have a Sonic Extended Universe here. I've certainly seen Stranger Things. <laughs> and for the Upside Down! Uh, I was just about to say, <laughs> beating up Eggman, this is just the Upside Down. I mean, look at the thunderstorm happening in the background. Justice for Barb. <laughs> she was my favorite character. All right, so now what are we gonna do now that uh, Sonic Heroes is officially finished with all four stories? Well, uh, we got uh, two episodes left. 
Next episode, uh, we're gonna do a uh, little tradition that I like to do. And before we do the last thing, we're gonna have a multiplayer special. The thing is, though, I want to do this sober, you know? Oh, I'm good with that. I, I don't want to do a drunken multiplayer special, not because I don't like being drunk on camera anymore, but the way I see it, between you and me and the game, I figured that we should be the sober ones, Nothing's gonna and, be, and the game can be the drunk nothing's one. Nothing's gonna get done. Yeah, right. All right, so good. Multiplayer and then the final fine. Ah, there it is. The last story has opened up now because we have done all four of that and we've got all seven Chaos Emeralds. I'm pretty sure it would have told me to get all seven Chaos Emeralds if I didn't get all that. But Most likely. We got it now, so uh, that'll be uh, this time next week. will be the finale of Sonic Heroes. Oh. But for next time, we'll be doing some two-player stuff. All right. So uh, get excited. I am. It's been a while since I've played a Sonic multiplayer game with you. Yeah. Sorry, multiplayer game mode in a Sonic game with you. We don't, we don't do a lot of uh, competitive multiplayer stuff uh, side by side, except for the Smash. Uh, yeah, gun, well, gun that's that's a different animal. That's, that's a different animal. This is for an, an animal I can't wait to put down. No, don't. This this will be for leisure. This will be for fun. Just to, you know, uh, dick around, have some fun with the codes, give you a chance to try them out and see what kind of fun stuff we can do and see how well this game runs with codes and two players. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> sure, it's going to be... It's going to be... I'll get the fire extinguisher. So, we'll see you next time on Sonic Heroes Action Replay.